so I was where that, that a new chapter was gonna drop and then I ended up almost forgetting because it's Ian it's Ian This is part one, as usual, but... <laughs> Back in Grams again. The now destroyed Grams, as indicated by the icon. I can speak. The Holy City gone mad. <laughs> what a title. They just keep coming. Hurry up and die already, you piece of crap fiends. <laughs> Monsters in a nutshell. <laughs> Renzo, what's your status? I got things pretty much mopped up. Which means we have to with the last fiends in this area. Renzo, Ellie, there's trouble. More fiends. What the hell's going on here? There's no end to him. We see him seeing seeing a way, yet my ass was shows no signs of baiting. What in the name of the goddess is this? I don't know. You had to do a reaction to Alias showing up this time, Ellie. <laughs> Maybe you would ask her. We was back. You mean you teleported back? <laughs> and yet, too many enemies. Too many fiends. Maybe we finally did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> In kidding. Ah, what do you know? <laughs> I wonder who's behind such wagons. Well, at least the United is dealing with that. Shut up, Google. <laughs> It cannot be me a coincidence, exactly. It's, it's a pretender doing. Yep. It's Kyo's responsible here. <laughs> Makes me miss the days I spent just lose pages and whatnot. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you get tossed into a gacha game. <laughs> so many things just come out right at you. Probably, probably. <coughs> In the ruins of the city, which means we're going to be going through the set city. The 
puppet and the duel. <laughs> what duel? Oh, we're gonna have some mystical duel now? <laughs> we have finally arrived at this moment. How long has it been since he sealed me away? Finally, we could create a gateway that would lead to my return. Fairies? Yes, Bruin, what is it? Something's been off about you of late. Almost as if you were a different person. Ah, I see. Yes, the progress we've made in for my return has had an effect on this particular body. But there's no need for concern, Bruin. On the contrary, it serves as evidence that we are near to accomplishing our goals. Yes, I suppose that is a good thing. This body is no more than a puppet for the progenitor. As my will has not yet suffer suffused it, the thing moves based on the ego of this person called Fairies. But the closer my return becomes, the more the body will move based solely on the progenitor's will. However, nothing has changed. You have to act according to my divine will. Very well, I understand. In that case, what have we do? Gather the miasma in this place for me. The power to do so rests with you. For a thousand years, I have guided this place for miasma might gather in it. Take the other, for example. Ah, but that one was useful in the way he effectively called upon the power of the progenitor. Did he? Oh, but I also made fine use of the Indian church. Thanks to them, this place has enjoyed an uninterrupted flow of hatred, delusion, jealousy, contempt, and all manner of other ill wills and mollified. <laughs> Seeing new words is still surprising to me. Such things now take the form to my answer to this food place. The same answer we were collected and used as the catalyst for my return. And where do you tend to store this my answer once you gather it? Why, here, of course, in this body. Fergus's body. No. My body! The first that I would serve my glorious return. But fairies, if you store that much my asthma in your body, you will destroy it? Yes, quite likely. But it is of no particular issue. But as I said earlier, this body is no more than a puppet for the progenitor. Sadly, it has already reached its limits and begun to decay. Little wonder, considering it has received a with the progenitor's bow and power for so long a period of time. But I must say, it lasted longer than I ever expected. A puppet? Yes, a puppet. A thing that was seized the, of the progenitor's will and works to that end. Being sealed away in the other world, the progenitor cannot directly interfere with the world beyond. I such, I must select the person in that world and use them as a tool to make good my return. In this frustrating work, an ordinary person is shattered merely by receiving my will. So how incredibly fortuitous for me that I located this serious person. <laughs> on his dying breath, no less! On his, on his deathbed, no less! I think you not use my precious brothers for such a trite purpose. Mm -hmm. You me, progenitor. I will see you quit Ferris's body if we burn from your machinations. <laughs> so, <laughs> the mystical all hearing princess. <laughs> She's all good. Alright, well, before we gotta do any more plot, we gotta go through a stage because. <laughs> We gotta stretch this out somehow. Bowl for collection. Okay, that's weird. It's supposed to be here, but... Would you please tell me why we have returned to the sacred tree, Ilya? Do you believe we might discover some means here by which we can oppose Progenitor? Maybe, maybe not. That's why we're here to poke around. There is no need to speak in such riddles. For all we know, the Progenitor could be returned even as we speak. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. So listen, if I know the hunter's correct, the progenitor has already been brought back into the world at least once. And what proof do you have for this mad, mad claim? The proof is me and Sephia. What? Yeah, and I'm not 100% certain neither, which is why I wanted to come here and make sure. The secretary has existed as far back as when the progenitor and Norton were still kicking around. And all of its memories from that time should still be inside it. If the progenitor has been restored at some point in the past, do we remember? Then, ought we not simply ask the world to three of our members such? 
That would save a whole lot of effort, but unfortunately the tree has too many memories for the single wheel to hold. So the memories are separated from the wheel and stored in the trunk and roots, which is what we need to look for. Since it's a pretty old memory, I assume it will be in the roots. There should be a hollow in the tree and then it's there. Ah, there we are. Right team, in we go! I was about to say, it's about to get a bigger mana found in that case, in that way. I have you now, Morse Hardy! Upon this ground, shall you be sealed away once more? What was that? A memory of the sacred tree from roughly 300 years ago. That appeared to be from the moment where Alberius was fighting Morse Hardy. Yeah, we need to go way on than that. Let's keep digging. Yeah? Huh? Oh jeez, it's such a memory. Man, that's on me. That was Mine, which means this is a memory from a thousand years ago. Oh, why wouldn't she throw the stuff away? I mean, I could have done without that being shot back in my face. No time for whining, let's keep going. Do I really need a number on poor Mine, huh? I'll fall back to you now, let's go FOREVER! <laughs> FOREVER! I would remind you that we have no proof that we pretend to have a return to this world in the past. This may have all been a colossal waste of time. That can't be, I was... Sure? Okay, this is really weird. Everyone stop, I just said a voice saying pretend to. Why, but this is black mana. Ah, don't make me burn a memory, this stone incredibly oppressive. It's the progenitor. The progenitor lies beyond this black mana. Is it? This is the memory of a time when the progenitor was returned. For the sake of this world, possibility must be protected. So Elysium stood against the progenitor. Wait, there's more. This is the end of everything. You seek to destroy this world or create a new one in its place? Must put a stop to this. A pact is a pact. If that is your will, I shall obey. Reduce me to mana. But how is that possible? You have some nerve. You have suffered with the wrong dragon. Valor does not make a victor. Such things are not pleasant for dragons. This ward world. This place of determination and despair. And I now banish this threat. I will have my pride returned! What that is now? It's an incredibly old memory by the looks of it, and there were a lot of bits that were fragmenta fragmentary and unclear. But I think it was lazy when the other dragons defeating the progenitor. That didn't look like defeating him, it appeared more like they stopped his revival or perhaps we sealed him. Even so, that's still valuable information for us right now. So if I empower the dragons, the progenitor can be opposed. So what are the dragons is now? The five grey worms? I suspect so, although they looked different. Eminent dragons like the five are reborn in new forms after they die. The way they appear now is likely the result of their having been, been having been reborn several times. Then if we combine the powers of the five great ones, we should be able to oppose the pretender. Sadly, I feel the current five great ones lack the power to face our foe. When they were reborn, they end up losing their memories. Wingard Storm seems to not even recognize me. And if the memories are lost, it stands to reason some power would be as well. In other words, the five great ones can't help and this is all a waste of time. Easy on the depressing assumptions there, pal. The five great ones are still the five great ones. If they've lost their power, they'll just have to get it back. What? Let's have actual gas, everybody. We finally got some good news. Meanwhile, still gotta go through more battles. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> the plot's not stupid. I, I'm, the, the constant battles in between lore bits is kind of a bit annoying, but 
It's a gotcha game, you gotta do what you gotta do, but still. <laughs> Not good for recording. <laughs> Friendly enough, this does seem like the good spot for the just part end of the chapter. <laughs> I'm not saying it's coincidental, but I'm saying it's there. <laughs> this is ultimately the stopping point for the first half, I guess. The Oblivion Royals, hmm? I don't think they would stuff us out, though I suppose we must acknowledge the prowess. I imagine this means you're done imitating a poor part of fairies. Oh, this is no imitation shell. The one who speaks to you now is fairies. He's merely influenced occasionally by my sacred will. You are taking advantage of the man. This is inexcusable. And what would you do about it, hmm? I will excite you for this word, and in doing so, save not just my older brother, but Bjorn as well. Save him? Ah, but you like understanding. Is that my will? Fairies remains dead. And little Bjorn here is not some prisoner to my will, but is uh, providing aid of his own volition. His own volition? Ha! <laughs> Have you ever given Baron a choice? Allowed him to think for himself? <laughs> was not your Baron Royce who never gave him a choice? Why had I not released him, your dear brother Baron would still be languishing in the dark prison where your family left him to be forgotten? Not our finest hour by any stretch, but we have much of to do for our part in it. But all the more reason why we need to help Baron now. Join us, Baron. You may well hate us, and you have the right. There is no excuse for our being unable to save you from your predicament. But that is why we cannot leave you now. Certainly you must be aware of the fact your mind remains caged even though your body is not free. I... I'm not preached by the hunter at this point, but I also will not look away when one who shares my rank of blood is being used as a minus tool. Your blood? I... Feel free to ignore this nonsense, Bruin. You are my right hand, and it is enough that you serve to embody my will. Tell me, Fires. What am I? What are you? I have long felt that I am something different from a common human, and it's not about having power or being able to do something odd, I. just. different. They claim I share dragon blood with their family, but does that make me the same as these people? I don't know. I just don't know. So, what am I? Well, this is deeply fascinating. If Spearman is such a kind of special being, then by all means pay a ludicrous sort of matter. There is no reason for me to answer you. But the thing is also Spearman also wishes to know, I so oblige. You know of the Auspects, yes? I ask you, what manner of person do you think is chosen to serve as an Auspex? You refer to Auspex Baxters of the Indian Church? Well, if I recall correctly, there are people who boast extraordinary large amounts of mana. They also possess a special model which lets them communicate with other worlds. But do you know how such people came to have the title of Auspex? Do tell. The name itself has no meaning. It was something Ilya selected on a whim. Well, not Ilya, exactly, but rather a fairy who called herself Ilya and devoted herself to growing the Ilian Church. You speak of Mine. It's a tale that could well shake the foundations of Church Dalgma. I wouldn't have believed that, but we heard it from the goddess herself. Ah, good. Then I can dispense with some of the backstory. As I was saying, the fairy called Manny discovered a person with the same qu personal quality that Ilya possessed. As Manny had personally experienced the great destruction of Watt by the other, she feared this quality might lead to the same and attempted to control them. Or give except people the title of Auspex and installing them as individuals of great import and preventing them from leaving the bounds of the church. So to sum up, Auspex is some individuals who possess the same special quality as Ilya. I'm assuming this special quality is something more than good luck and sparkling wit. Indeed. It is a quality which makes the vessels of the primal mark. What? The primal what now? <laughs> Are we now being tossed a new thing that has not been explained since the beginning? I mean, can you ask after games go? <laughs> what? Do you know why the dragons control the world? Because of the way of things. What you name, the way of things, was instituted by the scant a thousand years ago. If considered from the genesis of this world, that period is but an eye blink. All of it happened a thousand years ago, brought by brought about when the Leasing took away the primal mark that Ilya bore. So wait, what? What? 
the Prime of Marcus, so to speak, the authority to control the world that was possessed by the progenitor and origin. Huh. But once they were each no longer able to interfere with the world, they bequeathed the Prime of Marcus onto others. The origin entrusted their mark to Elysium, but the progenitor made the mark pass from person to person. These people are the ones to speak of, the ones who can, can contact other worlds and ha who have to make up to accept the Prime of Mark. They all vessels of the mark. It is said all Spexes can contact other worlds, but that is not strictly accurate. Instead, they can contact the progenitor. They are prohibitations, inferior copies that the progenitor made of themselves. Then all Spexes are but copies of the progenitor. A building is just another vessel of the mark you created. Oh, it's the same aspects why these Vili and Sephian. No. What? I know all about the aspects, but I am different. I am not what they are. And if I were the same as them, if they were my peers, then I wouldn't be like this! Always alone, surrounded by nothing, you get running beneath it all the same! What am I?! You see it then, Burn. You see that you are different from the aspects, for they can only appear in the other worlds. But you, Bowen, you are the true vessel of the Primal Mark. The one who controlled my power. The one I have eagerly waited for years beyond counting. You see yourself different and know how correct you are. There is no being like you in all of existence. In fact, there is only one who is remotely the same. And that is the progenitor of themselves. So the only one like me is... the progenitor? Correct. And if you understand that, you were gathered to my asthma, create a gateway for my return, and also in your one and only compatriot. No, it fires. Bruin, no, don't do this! Listen to Shell Bruin, not to pretend to. Be quiet. I can't take it anymore. No one is the same as me. No one understands me. I hate the world for that. That's not true! You are Border Bruin, and that's not true at all! Oh, look. The Empty Prince finally speaks. Do you ask what you want to say to the Empty Prince? You are Bruin. I am empty. That's why I understand how you feel. What? I'm different from everyone else. Forget not being a true prince. I'm not even a true human. I'm empty, just like you said. When I learned that, I was afraid. I felt like I was going to be crushed beneath the weight of a solitude. So yes, Bruin, I understand how you feel. Then don't get in my way. What I need is someone just like me. No, brother, you don't. What made me understand what saved me was not someone just like me, but instead the most normal people. Regular people, Bowen. My friends. So please, listen to us. Shut up. I can't stand to even look at you. Listen to me, Bowen. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Enough. I'm going to end this. I'm going to kill you beyond all of this angle. Wait, Bowen. You focus on creating the gate. I don't have my terminals deal with this puppet. You what? What? Oh, you. <laughs> that explains it. That explains the random cubes. That explains the random cubes we've been fighting for like several chapters now. That explains the random cubes. They all come from the progenitor. <laughs> what? They're the pretenders lackeys! When everything I would need to deal with them, post haste, each second we de delayed the invited to the pretenders return. <laughs> we'll destroy whatever these other things are and stop booing. Go! <laughs> oh my god, we finally have an answer! The freaking cubes! The freaking cubes! The freaking cubes that had sat like. <laughs> Us! So the terminals, that's what they are. <laughs> Goodness! I shall color the world anew with my crimson. The freaking terminals. Holy protection. Shall we begin? Here comes the prankster fiend. Absolute Dominion! Sovereign Barrage! This smoldering flame shall blaze anew! Pew 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 Might is all! Sovereign Barrage! The time is nigh to show the power of my pact! 
Can't move. Time to punch it. Full throttle ride. Wee! And victory stares us in the eye. I show Mars. Burn them to ash. <laughs> Stop my dad. Oh man. My might reigns like, ever supreme. I don't know when those terminals started showing up, but at the, at the very beginning they they found like there were textbook basically codes for names of space related things and God seeing the origin finally come to fruition is like God that's that's like been several hints and, and we had we've had no idea this entire time until this very moment. What the heck? Plunk. Ah, you have destroyed one of my terminals. I would call your work splendid, but this defeat is not anywhere close to the end. Nah, oh, come on, more! More indeed! They are not done playing with you, not by a long stretch. I am prepared, brother. I have seized all of the miasma that affiliated for the city. Good. Do not have a means to support into this body, become the gateway. Bruin, stop! You are running on able to forgive us, so we cannot fault you for that. But what are you doing here? We'll kill fairies too! Fairies. Forest. Night. Take not on these things, Bowen. This body is but a puppet, remember? There was but one who could save you, one who could understand you, who was the same as you. Now bring it back to return by your own hand. Night. Here I go. I feel the gateway beginning to form. My return is nigh. This, this will be the end. At last, the gateway to the eternal prison with my flesh awaits is complete. No! Does this mean the pretender is actually coming back? At last, my way. I wait. My wait. <laughs> Fairies? What's happening? Won't. Let. What? I won't let you do this, Pagenidad! What? This cannot be! Okay, what the heck is going on? I have waited for this moment. The moment where my body would become a gateway to the other world. The moment where your consciousness is more focused on your own body than mine. Fairies? Is that you? It has been some time, my brother. Forrest, it is you! Have you claimed your consciousness for the progenitor? Unfortunately, no. I feel I can do no more than cut in like this for a short moment. But it's why you must destroy my body in the gateway while there is still time! Why right now, I serve as the gateway for the progenitor's return. If I am destroyed, so too is that link. But... We don't have the luxury for questions. I can't keep this up for long. If you wish to stop Genetra's return, this is your only chance! I understand. Felix, you didn't. You must do the thing. So, no! If it must be done, it must. Then let it be done by our hands. Is this really the only way? Do what you gotta do, boss. We'll hold off these damn cube dealies. <laughs> it's a clear path, your highness. Thank you both. Can't believe this is how you finally regained the fairies. But I won't disappoint you now. We cannot waste our brother's willingness to sacrifice himself for the greater good. Fool. You foolish puppet. You start to interfere with my will. Prefer my return. Thank you to all fairies once more. Why do you hesitate, Bowen? Go forth and eliminate all who stand in the way of my return. But... Bowen, you must realize now what Ferris was determined to do. And there can be only one answer to such determination. I... I... Obey me, Bowen. That is your... No, stop! S stop, Bowen. This... This is the time for you to also be free of the progenitor. Free? I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? I understand, Bowen. I understand what you want, what you seek. 
connection. What? Yes, connection to people. Bosch was at us. It's true that the progenitor may be the same as you, but the progenitor seeks not Bosch was at us, not even with you. Wake up, Owen. Even if you obey the progenitor, you will never have the connection you so desperately crave. Come with us, Bowen. I know we can give you what you seek. Except if we won't give it to you, we'll create that bond together and then grow and nurture it. We'll create it ourselves? You're making it sound more like what than it is. A bond is starting to expressly plan a project to create. Right away, it's something that you look up one day and realize it's there. Just as it is always there between us, but uh, there between us, Bowen. What might call it the bond between siblings? Bonds. Connections. I see. Thank you for us. And the rest of you. And I know what my answer is. My answer is this! Well. Bowen, why? You must take it for us. Yes, it's true, I may have been fixated on that connection. But that didn't mean I wanted one. Because when you told me I already had the connections, when you offered to give them to me, I found it joy at all. How I realized then there what I wanted not to have bonds, but to destroy them, to lay all connections everywhere. I want to teach people who value such things how pointless they truly are. But they're not pointless, they are the very things that saved the world itself! Oh, didn't use those bonds and connections to stop me. What are you doing, Bowen? Since you and I start trying to interfere, I was simply thrown the gateway in a different place. No, you mustn't! Ah, but I must. I will transform my own body into the gateway and call forth the progenitor into this world. Now behold their return! Yep, there it is. <laughs> right there. So, yep. That's that. <laughs> get a bit of foreshadowing to get to the Primal Dragons, which is, frankly, what the next Wait, set of weapons is coming up is. Also, this whole Primal Dragon trial thing. Also, there was something called a, someone called a Windall Specs? Don't know who that is. But we'll find out soon. And I guess I'm going to be doing a reaction Perhaps on that. I and train a bit more. I that time on the fight itself. Because why not? Can I really contain this much? Where am I going to hunt today? Probably going to be getting so right? deep into part two. What do people do besides go to battle, fight, the next year? So I will say it right here now because. I doubt there's going to be any New Year's events prior to the one that's already currently going on right now. Uh, Happy New Year, and uh, the day is nearly over. Listen carefully. I'll see you the then.